Less than five years ago, we in Britain no longer believed we still had any right to think of ourselves as a world leader. But that has changed because of one woman who believed that our country, our people, could do more than we dreamed possible for many, many years, and much more than we thought possible in 1979. Do you remember what it was like then, in the winter of discontent, when Britain had come almost to a standstill, a strike followed strike? Abroad, they joked about the British disease, but here it was not amusing. Everybody knew that it couldn't go on like this. Margaret Thatcher promised that it needn't, that Britain could change for the better, but could it? Let's see. From the first day I became Prime Minister, I've been gratefully aware of an understanding, of a trust, that came from people in all walks of life. I believe that is because people knew that our proposals were honest and right, and they were prepared to give them a chance to work. Today, in spite of many difficulties, and with so much more to be done, Britain has regained her confidence and self-respect. What I would like to share with you for a few final moments is a vision of the things that matter most to me. My proposal doesn't seem to revive the old Stormont Parliament. And we will govern for the whole of this nation every single time. for that decent, hard-working majority of the British people whose voice has been silent for all too long. ...unequivocally to peace. So we committed to freedom. For freedom is the birthright of every citizen. To preserve and defend that freedom, to defend it from within and from without, is the first duty of any Prime Minister. And I want to enlarge that freedom. Hunt down the criminals murdered innocent people. And we will work with all our people for that just and decent society that the British people have wanted for so long. The country has just taken part in a giant democratic exercise, perhaps the biggest in our history. I offer the certainty of liberty. Until their violence genuinely ends. We trust the people with these big decisions. And where we build a nation united, with common purpose, shared values, with no one shut out, no one excluded, no one told that they do not have. A spirit for peace. Illic inequality should not be woven into the fabric of our lives. People of compassion and goodwill should never journey without hope. And no injustice should endure forever. I follow in the footsteps of a great modern Prime Minister. Our shared belief is that wealth must serve more than the wealthy. My hope for the future of all our people is that they should enjoy liberty and property. In that society, tolerance and respect will be the order of the day as we watch our children grow in strength and our elderly rest easy and secure in old age. Happiness is about more than what you earn and own. Not only have a parliamentary democracy, but on questions about the arrangements for how we're governed, there are times when it is right to ask the people themselves. And that is what we have done. Because not everybody knows this, but the full title of my party is the Conservative and Unionist Party. And that word unionist is very important to me. Only we have the wisdom and the will to grasp the opportunities. Britain. It means we believe in a union not just between the nations of the United Kingdom, but between all of our citizens, every one of us, whoever we are and wherever we're from. A new movement is like every other great movement in history. It is built on moral convictions. First hundreds, then thousands, then hundreds of thousands of people, they say. We may not welcome it. We may fear it. We may even be haunted by it. Pretending it doesn't exist is not a solution. And I want everyone to feel proud in their country tonight.
because they all have a stake in its success. That means fighting against the burning injustice. All the people here, young and old, from every part of the country, from every background, we say tonight, you, the British people, have given us the chance to serve you. You have put your trust in us, and we say to you, we shall repay that trust for you. We govern for you. Across the world, people have been watching the choice that Britain has made. If you suffer from mental health problems, there's not enough help to hand. Increasing people's life chances, building a bigger and stronger society. And yet the only purpose in being in politics is to, do, to get things done, to make things happen. Now we have the chance to make things happen. And we take that responsibility upon us. If we do not value personal freedom, how can we value the freedom of a nation? You cannot ever again humiliate the person who has got pride. You cannot suppress men and women who are afraid no more. We will do everything we can to give you more control over your lives. Who would best defend our freedom, our way of life, and the much-loved land in which we live? But the people in the crowd the people whose names are not recorded in the books of history are the real change makers, the people who made history by being there and demanding change. We will do everything we can to help you believe we will be on whatever your background to go as far as your talents will take people can come and make a contribution. As that you fight for fairness, you will always find in me a friend, a partner, and a brother. Peace does not have to be a dream. Let's march. Let's march for justice, dignity, fairness. That's what we've all got to march for, and let's march for it together. Thank you very much.